everyone, welcome back. It's Friday Favorites and Bups, and I literally debated over wearing this hat for like a good five minutes before I started this video. Here's the deal. I love hats, I think they're fun. My husband, every time I wear a hat, he's like, are you gonna wear that? It's like the only thing that he's made me feel insecure about in our entire life are hats. He doesn't like hats on girls. So every time I wear a hat, I'm like, does this look good? I don't know, I can't tell. So I feel toolish. So if you guys don't like hats, you don't have to tell me because I'm already like, should I have worn the hat? Should I not? Have? My hair, I'm not feeling very well. My hair is second day hair, like a day and a half, really. And it's just, I don't know, it's one of those days where it's like, you know what, I'm gonna throw on a hat because, because I can. Well, actually, you know, I'm gonna leave the hat off for one second. I got this hat, by the way, at Nordstrom. And I got it in the juniors this section. So, um, but I'm gonna start off talking about one of my favorites, which is the Amica, or Amica, um, dry shampoo. This came on recommendation from my friend Dana. She loves this stuff, like legit loves this stuff. So it's called Perk Up Dry Shampoo, and I love, it says it has sea buckthorn berry, dry cleanse, refresh, revive for all hair types. I really love this because it really does refresh my roots, um, and it smells it smells so, so good, and I find that it gives volume, like it gives really nice volume, but not like too much texture to the hair, but it, you know, it just smells good, and it really does revive day old hair. So you can find this at Sephora. Sephora. Sephora just started carrying it. It has been a lifesaver. Definitely it comes on recommendation. It is a little bit pricey for a dry shampoo, um, but I think compare, compared to others with the scent of this one, with the way that it works, the, the not giving grit, but giving volume, giving like absorbing the oils, not leaving a white cast, it's a really good dry shampoo. I'm really glad that she recommended it and I definitely love it as much as you do, Dana. So, okay, so if any of you guys have been, uh, like watch Orange is the New Black, you guys know that it released this week early on Netflix, so a ton of people have been staying up late watching it. I've been sick, so it's been a good excuse to catch up. I actually hadn't seen any of the seasons. I was putting it off because it was a little bit raunchy, but um, I started watching it and I kind of been marathoning it. But with that comes dark circles. So I was sent some products from Frankie Rose Cosmetics, and I'm gonna do more of a review on some of the products at a later date, but this is one that has totally stood out to me. It is a concealer in the color Fresh. And I really like this concealer. It has really great opacity, really, really nice opacity, and it just, it's like this was just one swipe. It blends into the skin just so beautifully and I don't find that it creases on me. So I've really been enjoying this. It doesn't have any type of strange scent or anything, but it really looks good under the eyes. This has helped. It's super duper creamy, which is what I love, but it's like the creamy that sets really nicely and doesn't crease. So I just kind of put it right here in that V under the eye, but it, I like the packaging because of the wand, and I know a lot of my other concealers that do have wands as well are concealers that I do gravitate towards um, just because you can kind of control the product amount that you want on. That's my only problem with Max Pro Longwear Concealer is that when you pump it out, you really can't control the amount of product that you're getting out. So I do like the wand, especially for application. I can get like right up in there into my inner corners, which have been super dark recently from being sick and from like redness, darkness, just from losing sleep basically. So really been loving this product and Frankie Rose hadn't heard very much about them had seen a little bit on Instagram I know a few friends who've tried out my friend Alexis she loves these products so I know that um, I have heard some buzz but I was really excited to have the opportunity to try more products so I'll be digging in and I'm sure they had some lip liners that were amazing that I've been loving as well but this was just a standout okay you guys know I've been doing the Urban Decay Naked tutorials on my channel leading up to the anticipation of the Urban Decay Naked Smoky release. I, I don't know why that's always such a tongue twister to me, but it is. 
But I'm so excited for that palette, but it got me to thinking, it's like I'm always so excited about the release of the Urban Decay Naked palettes because I love them so much. But when 3 came out, it was so highly anticipated and then it just kind of got shoved into the back of the collection with the rest of stuff. So I was like, you know what? I love my Naked palettes. That's why I started doing this series of doing a look with them. So I do have a playlist now on my channel where I'm putting all the videos of all the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I'm going to go on to be doing the Naked Basics 1 and 2 so I can put those in the compilation and watch them. In the discovery of that, I pulled out some of the dual-ended liners that I had picked up a while back. I had used them a little bit and then decided to start pulling them back out when I was creating looks. And I love these. I'm not a fan of the 24-7 liners from Urban Decay in general. I'm really, really not. But there's something about these in the dual-ended that I don't mind. They're definitely not great for the waterline because they do have some shimmers in them. But they're great to smoke out the bottom lash line. So I use them almost like a base on the bottom lash line and then top them with shadow. This is the Naked 3 one. I am wearing the Naked 2 one in pistol under my lash line today. But this one is the Naked 3 one. And it has one side is dark side, which is the color that I've been using a lot. And the other side is black heart. So they coincide with the palettes. So this color, I'm going to do like a heavy swatch. It's like a dark, almost taupey, not taupe, not taupe, sorry, like a dark plummy purple. I don't, I, it's hard to describe that color dark side. And then this one, Black Heart, is like a black base with maroon shimmer in it. So there is dark side and there is Black Heart. As you can see, I love these and they've been really great to be using coinciding with the palette. So again, like I said, I'm not using them like on my waterline, but I'm using them to sit on my lash line and then setting them with a powder product. And I find that's the only way I can get the Urban Decay liners to really stay on me is if I set them with the powders. That's why I don't use them in the waterline. Even if they didn't have shimmer in them, I just find that it's always best and it doesn't like leak into my inner corners when I set them with a powder product. I guess you could use them in the waterline if you go ahead and set them with a powder product. But that's just me. I have a really tricky waterline, so that's probably why. Okay, my last favorite before my flop is this hourglass, this hourglass bronzer. I love this. Like, I seriously, Love this. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. I did not think I was going to like this at all. I actually had a really negative opinion of it the first time that I tried it. I don't know if it's the combination of being in the summertime and the glow, but it just like bronzes up the entire face. It's a perfect, like once I contour, I use this and kind of buff it on the perimeters of my face to bronze up my face. And I have been loving that look. So there it is right there. And it just gives that glow, but it blends in so smoothly on the skin. Really, really been loving this. And like I said, the first time I used it, I thought it was too, too orange. But I guess now that summer has come around, I've gotten a little bit more sun and tan. So putting it on my face, like the glow is appropriate for the summer. So maybe that's why I've really been enjoying it. But I really, really like it. I know between the two, the radiant one and then this one, the luminous one, that this one is a little bit lighter. So if you're fair complected like I am, I think you might really like this one. Um, but yeah, really, really been enjoying it. It does still look a little bit orange there. But I find like on my face, it just looks like a bronze glow. I feel as though my voice is starting to sound very like, hello, how's your father? But um, it's just because I've been sick. I have a huge drugstore haul that will be coming up soon. But you guys, I went to Target for cough drops. And I came out with like a ton of drugstore makeup. I'm really excited about some of the products though. I'm going to be doing some first impressions on some of the foundations and just uh, show you guys what I got. I bought Luden's cough drops and I love Luden's cough drops. I used to beg my mom to let me have Luden's. My fifth grade teacher told me, well, she she was always eating Luden's and I was like, why are you always eating those? And she's like, well, I'm an adult, so it's not against the rules. Like I can have Luden's cough drops. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I can't wait to be an adult because I want some Luden's cough drops because that's what I equated to being an adult was having Luden's. My husband was just creeping in the background of this video. I like went out there because I thought it was one of my kids and he was like, uh, that was me at the door because <laughs> I was like, shut the door. 
because you know I don't want them creeping in the background because I don't want them to be seen and he who started laughing I'm like was that you at the door he was like yeah I was listening to your fifth grade Luden story I'm like oh my gosh he goes oh I love your hat I'm like what you said you don't like me in hats so yeah whatever he's like yeah I don't but I actually like that right now I'm like well I already told them that you said you don't like me in hats you made me insecure about wearing a hat he's like yeah but I like it right now Ugh, men I swear okay for my flop <sighs> you guys I feel like a little bit bad saying this but these didn't work for me so there's the truth right there I went on a thing to find different lashes because I've just been experimenting with bigger lashes recently. So I have heard a ton about instead of House of Lashes, Iconic Lashes, to try the Coco Lashes in Goddess. Coco Lashes don't work for me. I've tried these at least six times to glue them onto my eye, one of them being today. And I did like a, I don't even know if you can see it, but... Today I did like an emerald eye. I really like it. I used the Anastasia Artist palette on my eyes. Um, like the green shade in there. But anyways, I originally tried to put these lashes on today again for like the sixth try. And they do not stick on my eye. And I don't know what it is. I'm using the same glue that I use on every single lashes that I've ever used. I even tried using different glue because I was like, well maybe it's the glue because I got a new glue like a new batch of the same glue I had used. But I'm like, well, maybe it's the glue. No, I don't know what it is. It's like the lash band. They're gorgeous lashes, but it's like the lash band, like where you put the glue, it doesn't like stick to my eye. I will put it on and I love it. But then as soon as I like lift my eye, it like peels up. The, the glue is dry. Everything is right. It's what I do with everything else. But for some reason, these lashes pop off of my eyes like a what what. So like I'll just like the inner part starts lifting on my eye. This part, the outer part starts popping up. It literally will not stick to my eye. I'm like, what? I'm like, am I on candy camera? <laughs> like, what's the deal? Did I get some funky lashes? Because everyone loves these lashes. They're more, um, they're inexpensive, like more inexpensive than the House of Lashes. I think these are like $4 maybe, $3, three to $4. And I really want them to work for me, but they really just don't. They don't work for me. It's something about the band just does not work on my eyes. So yeah, there's a little story for you. That's my flop this week. I know a ton of people love those lashes. So I'm, I'm just saying maybe if you have... I don't even know what I'm saying like it's it's probably a gamble of your eye if they're gonna stick but they're a little bit thicker of a lash band so if you have troubles with that maybe I don't know I've worn thicker lash bands before and haven't had that problem so I don't know those are all my favorites and my flop I love you guys if my hat looks stupid don't tell me <laughs> just you don't have to tell me that it looks good if you think it looks stupid but I'm just saying now my husband's got me all twisted up over this hat situation because I'm like, should I just, it's kind of like bright lipstick, you know, you don't wear it very often, like, well, at least I didn't wear it very often, and then I was like, you know what, I like bright lipstick, so I'm gonna wear it, so I started wearing it and thinking everyone's staring at me, everyone's staring at me because I'm wearing bright lipstick, but then it was like, who cares if they're staring at you? You're wearing bright lipstick, it's all about your attitude like when you're wearing something, right? So maybe I should apply that to my hat. Like who cares if he doesn't like it? <laughs> because it's kind of like you want them to like like your hat because then all of a sudden you're like, well maybe I don't look good in the hat. This is like ridiculous. I'm sitting here talking about a hat. I'm going to leave, sorry. No, I'm just playing. I I'm, I'm really am going to leave now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really great weekend. If you don't watch Orange is the New Black, just start watching it, but be warned, it's pretty raunchy and you're going to need good concealer because you're going to be staying up marathoning. Trust me. All right. I will see you guys all in the next video. Mwah.